The only way to understand someone is to get to know them. Isn't that right? Fair enough. What's that noise? Operator to 9S. Emergency transmission incoming. We've detected a Goliath-class enemy inside the city ruins. It seems to be accompanied by a large number of machine life forms. All your members are ordered to engage at once. A Goliath? This was a trap. I knew it! I promise you, we were not aware of this information. I realize the odds of you believing me are strikingly low, but I hope you will nonetheless. We'll sort it out later. Let's go. Operator 210 here. Do you read me? Operator to 9S, I have bad news and I have good news. Bad first. We've confirmed the presence of two Goliath-class heavy weapon enemies. Two of them? Now, the good news. We've used your previous Goliath combat data to analyze the enemy. And it seems we have identified a weakness. Command has modified a firing unit based on this new intel. It's been installed on a pair of flight units that are heading your way. That's your R&D for you. Check your map data. Operator out. Thanks, Operator. 2B, Command is deploying new flight units for us. They just set the coordinates, so let's get going. On it. The flight units should be on the roof of that building up ahead. It'll be dangerous, but we're not going anywhere unless we pass through that Goliath's legs. We should be careful. Central wiring hub.
to those flight units while we can. Enemy anti-air defenses are on patrol at higher altitudes. A low altitude approach is recommended. Got it, thanks. Target enemies offline. That should do it for the Goliaths. Look out! It's recharging! Enemy vibrations are growing in intensity. It's resonating in tandem with the area beneath the combat zone. Unbelievable. The aliens who haven't revealed themselves in hundreds of years were hiding underground? We've intercepted a signal belonging to the aliens. These are the creatures that are in direct command of the machine life forms on this planet. If we can destroy them, we can end this long and arduous war once and for all. Our intel team is hard at work attempting to analyze the source of the signal, but we're not there yet. We need more data. All Yorha units are hereby ordered to prioritize data collection above all else. We can't let this chance slip through our fingers. Glory to mankind. I used command's data to determine the signal source and marked it on the map. But it seems to be underground. Like, way underground. Guess we'll see once we get there. If we're lucky. You're not much for plans, are you, 2B? The ground is caved in. There must have been a hollow down there this whole time. This hallway looks pretty old. Look at all these dead machines. 
Seems like they've been here for a long time. What is this place? I don't know. There's nothing like it in the database. Are they... dead? To be. Huh? Look! Destroyed alien motherships. Welcome... <laughs> to the graveyard of our creators. You! To be! Look out! My name is Adam. The aliens you seek are no longer here. They were wiped out centuries ago. By us. The machines. Wiped out? And who knows? Perhaps we'll wipe out the androids next. Machines are weapons capable of evolution. We can grow. We can become... aware. Eventually, the intelligence within our network began to surpass that of our creators. You'd probably be surprised at how quickly it happened. You destroyed your own creators? Oh, there's no need to fret about them. They were simple, infantile, almost like plants, I guess you'd say. They held no value to us, but the humans on the moon, now they are interesting. Why them? Because they are an enigma. They killed uncountable numbers of their own kind, and yet loved in equal measure. It's fascinating, don't you think? What could possibly drive such behavior? We have dedicated ourselves to unraveling this riddle of humanity. And now we will allow you to assist us. You were made in their image, after all. Assist you with what? It's simple. We need you to locate the humans on the moon and bring them to us. We will then dissect and analyze them in order to drag their secrets forth into the light. Surely you see the attraction in this. Are you insane? We'd never do that! Can you believe this to be? This guy's bonkers! Well, I suppose this concludes negotiations. The only remaining option is to destroy you. The same way we destroyed these pathetic little aliens. Time grows short. This year, this is the fate that befell our creators. As for your beloved humans, I guess we'll see, won't we? <laughs> Gone. The aliens were already dead. Yeah. We better get back to the bunker. Back this way again? What a pain. Stop complaining. Yeah, yeah. We now have an operational transporter in the city ruins. We're attempting to deploy them at other points as well. About time we had access to those. Care to fill me in? Transporters? They let you transfer your consciousness to a temporary body back in the bunker. I heard some tech guys talking about it a while ago, but I didn't know they'd finally got it working. Anyway, I'll mark the positional data on the map. Hey, how's it hanging? You again. Your commander told me to build a new access point, so here you go. Oh, and I got the stupid transporter up and running too. Um, thank you? I've known the commander for a while now. She sure is good at pawning work off on people. Next time you see her, give her some lip for me, will ya? So this has a transporter now, huh? Still, transporters are pretty handy. They're way faster than flight units when it comes to traveling between Earth and the bunker. Flight units also leave us open to attack, 
And they're expensive to operate, too. That concludes our report on the events surrounding the alien wreckage. Then they were dead this whole time. The Council of Humanity needs time to formulate a plan. Until then, this information must be kept confidential. Speak of it to no one. Of course, your next mission is to gather additional intel on the individual known as Pascal. You mean that freaky machine we ran into? This order comes directly from the Council. Knowledge of such unique individuals is essential for the success of future missions. Understood. Operator 210 to 9S, be aware that the following transmission is classified privilege level 5. A group of Yorha fighters deployed to the city ruins have deserted. We need you to take care of them immediately. And 9S, be careful. Yorha members deserting? And attacking the resistance no less? <sighs> Proposal. Rogue Yorha units should be captured and detained in order to keep collateral damage at a minimum. Detained? Easy for you to say. Um... Oh, it's 9S and 2B, yes. Those machines cost quite the ruckus, don't you think? We need to talk. Of course. I'll help however I can. Yes, 2B? Aside from this village, are there any other machines that are cut off from the network? Hmm. I suppose that unpleasant song 
monstrous you so kindly defeated in the amusement park wasn't part of the network. You mean that singing thing? Oh, and of course there's the Forest Kingdom, but... Forest Kingdom? Yes. It's a vast woodland area not far from here. There's a group of machines there attempting to build a nation of sorts. They're quite hostile to outsiders, however. We can't so much as go near the place. Where is it? Northeast of the city ruins. You should be able to reach it by passing through the ruins of the commercial facility. If you go, however, be careful. Things have been rather rough there lately. This forest kingdom sounds like something we should check out.
sure I even know what it means to be smart anymore. Reply unknown. Terms are too vague to formulate a reasoned response. <laughs> Don't I know it. Say, 2B. What? When do you think you'll be willing to call me 9s? 9S works just fine. Well, yeah, but... Man, this job can be pretty rough sometimes, huh? We don't get to choose our assignments. And you should work on keeping your opinions in check. Your ha aren't allowed to be emotional, remember? I think some of us are better at that than others. This must be the commercial structure Pascal was talking about. The records say it was once a facility known as a shopping center. No getting through here. Maybe there's some kind of mechanism we could engage? If we were human, we probably would have gone shopping and such here, right? More meaningless conjecture. <laughs> You're so serious, 2B. You know that? Alert. Multiple machine life forms detected above our position. All hail the Forest King. All hail the Forest King. Who the heck is the Forest King? You're getting distracted. Well, what do you expect? I'm a scanner. Combat was never meant to be my forte. Check this guy. He's just running away. It's going to explode! What's that? Hey there, guys. What's up? This thing's weird, Tubi. Let's kill it. Wait, what? No! Good idea. No! Okay, what was that? Looks like the forest is just ahead. Here they come. Better keep your guard up. I'm aware of how to fight. You just be careful. I will, to be.
Is this their king? <laughs> to be that's an android. A Yorha type android. Alert. This unit is currently wanted by Yorha. Annihilation recommended. Annihilation? But why? Let's go, 9S. To be? <laughs> Bunker to 2B and 9S. We've picked up a signal from the black box of a fugitive known as A2. What do you see in front of you? is your enemy. But she's... She deserted us. She's destroyed multiple pursuit androids. Now kill her before she kills you. Why did you betray us? Command is the one that betrayed you. Let's go after her, 2B. <clears throat> Damn! She got away. Operator, this is 9S. Patch me through to the commander. Roger that, 9S. I'm sorry, Commander. We failed to defeat the fugitive. I see. Well, at least you're both safe. That's an incredibly powerful unit you just faced. You should probably keep your distance in the future. Commander, why did A2 desert the Force? <sighs> I'm afraid that's classified. Oh? Huh. 2B? Yeah? Let's go ask Pascal about A2. He might know something. All right. Whether in wind or rain, thunder or snow, or even amidst the rising flames of war, they were always together. They never understood why. And yet they spent their lives nestled together. Forever. Forever and ever. Um, Pascal? This is 9S. Oh, you survived. How wonderful. Yeah, we're fine. But there's something we want to ask you about. Of course. Anything. Actually... 
It needs to be in person. Hmm. Understood. I'll open the gate we built to deter enemy invaders. You'll be able to reach the village through there. <laughs>